11 Filipinos, other crew members of targeted Norwegian own tanker now in Dubai, Dubai, United Arab Emirates crew members from the Norwegian own oil tanker apparently attacked in the Gulf of Oman landed Saturday in Dubai after two days in Iran as the other tanker targeted in the assault went into Anchorage off the eastern coast of the United Arab Emirates. Both the Mariner's recollection and the physical evidence remaining on the MT front Altair and the Katuka Courageous, now off the coast of Futura, will play an important role in determining who the international community blames for Thursday's explosions on board the oil tankers. Already, the U.S. has blamed Iran for what is described as an attack with limited mines on the two tankers, pointing to black and white footage of captures that American officials describe as Iranian revolutionary guard troops removing an unexploded mine from the Kapusa Courageous. Iran rejects the allegation, instead accusing the U.S. under President Donald Trump of pursuing an Iranophobic campaign against it. However, Iran previously used mines against oil tankers in 1987 and 1988 in the tanker war, which saw the U.S. Navy escort ships through the region something American officials may consider doing again. In a new allegation Saturday, the U.S. military accused Iranian revolutionaries are troops of trying but failing to shoot down the U.S., thrown to disrupt surveillance of the tankers during the attack. All this comes after four other oil tankers of Fujera suffered similar attacks in recent weeks, and Iranian allied rebels from Yemen have struck U.S. allied Saudi Arabia with drone banned missiles. Late Saturday, Yemen's Iranian backed county rebels claimed the new drone attack targeting Saudi Arabia, the latest in their recent campaign that has kept up in the Middle East tension. Maya al Seri, a county spokesman, Set air drones targeted airports in Chisholm and Dhaka in Saudi Arabia. Early Sunday, the Saudi-led coalition fighting in Yemen said it shot down a drone near the Atta Regional Airport, but did not acknowledge the Chisholm claim. The hub is say they launched a cruise missile that struck the Atta Airport Wednesday, an attack Saudi Arabia said wounded 26 people. Trump withdrew America last year from the 2015 nuclear deal that Iran reached with world powers and recently imposed a series of sanctions now squeezing its beleaguered economy and cutting deeply into its oil exports. While Iran maintains it has nothing to do with the recent attacks, its leaders repeatedly have threatened to close the vital strait of Hormuz, through which 20% of the world's oil flows. On Saturday, Associated Press journalists Shot a few members of Front Altair after their Iran air flight from Bandar Abbas, Iran, landed at Dubai International Airport. Ten of its 23 mariners walked out to be greeted by officials who earlier could be heard saying the others would be catching connecting flights. The officials repeatedly refused to identify themselves to journalists. They and the mariners declined to take questions. The front all hair caught fire after the attack Thursday, sending a disc cloud of glass most visible even by satellite from space. A passing ship rescued the mariners, who later were turned over to Iranian officials. Iran took the mariners to Jask, then later Bender Abbas before putting them on the flight Saturday night. Its crew was comprised of 11 Russians, 11 Filipinos and 1 Georgian. Meanwhile on Saturday, the Kapuka Courageous arrived off the coast of Futera. Journalists in the city could not reach the vessel, as both captains said authorities instructed them not to go near the stricken vessel. The Kapuka Courageous is the vessel where Iranian revolutionary guard troops were filmed Thursday removing something from the ship's hull. The U.S. military said they removed an unexploded limpid mine, which can be magnetically attached to a vessel. The implication is that Iran wanted to remove any evidence that could link them to the attack. Weapons experts can examine the mine for clues about its manufacturer. The black and white video shared Friday by the U.S. military Central Command came from the M60-state off helicopter, September. Joshua Frey, a spokesman for the U.S. Navy's Sixth Fleet. Such helicopters carry clear cameras. Clear, or forward-looking infrared cameras which record heat signatures in black and white. In a statement released Saturday, a spokesman for U.S. Central Command said a U.S. drone had been observing the front altar as it was on fire. Several minutes later, 
Iranian revolutionaries our troops fired a modified Iranian Sa-7 surface to air missile to try to bring down the drone in a likely attempt to disrupt the drone surveillance of the Sakuta courageous Lieutenant Colonel Earl Brown said, Iran did not immediately acknowledge the incident. Tensions in the Persian Gulf have risen as Iran appears poised to break the nuclear deal, which Trump was through America from last year. In the deal, Tehran agreed to limit its enrichment of uranium in exchange for the lifting of different sanctions. Now, Iran is threatening to resume enriching uranium closer to weapons-grade levels of European nation zones, offering new terms to the deal by July 7. Already, Iran says it quadrupled its production of low-enriched uranium. Meanwhile, U.S. sanctions have cut off opportunities for Iran to trade its excess uranium and heavy water abroad, putting Tehran on course to violate terms of the nuclear deal regardless. In May, the U.S. rushed an aircraft carrier strike group and other military assets to the region in response to what it said were threats from Iran. Regardless of who is responsible, the price of the barrel of benchmark Brent crude spiked as much as 4% immediately after the attack Thursday, showing how critical the region remains to the global economy. The Saudi Energy Ministry quoted Minister Khalid al Fali on Saturday as saying a rapid and decisive response was needed to the recent attack. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.